So today we have a couple of goals. The first goal is that we are going to kind of model how to go through our expert group pages. And we're going to do it just one chunk at a time. So we're going to read one expert, expert group page today. We're going to read just the geography chunk about Argentina, and we're going to do it together as a class. I'm going to show you how I want you to mark it. Then tomorrow we're going to do another one, the next section about cuisine. Next day we're going to do another one with a section about sitios importantes. And the fourth day we're going to do the section about musica, gracias, buena memoria. The reason that we're going to take the time to break it down and go through all those pages is because the next step is for you guys to be in group three and do your own expert group pages. You'll either be assigned a group about, no, not today, no, this will be like day five. You guys will have either a group about Cuba, Guatemala, or Mexico. It'll follow a pretty similar structure. So part of the process of us taking our time to go through the language right now is that it'll help you better understand what you will end up reading later. So for now, we're just looking at the very first paragraph that's underneath this that says geografia. <coughs> now I'm going to hand you each. Take one pass down. They're going to highlight and we're also going to need to write. There you go. Just set them next to you on the floor. Okay. Okay. El color no importa. No, necesitas dos cosas. Necesitas un highlighter y necesitas un resaltador. ¿Dónde está tu color? Sí, el color. Class 8, I'm going to read this twice through. The first time through, you're just going to listen and process as much as you can. The second time through, as I read it, when I get to a word or phrase that you aren't sure what it means, you're going to raise your hand. You're not going to raise your hand before we start and say, I don't know what pampas means, because I'm not at that point yet. You picture it like with a little karaoke sing-along ball goes. When it comes to that word, then you raise your hand. Right. Okay, what are we doing with the, the highlighter is going to be for when we get to that point. Stop using it now, Senor. Cap it. When we get to the point of marking it, we are all going to mark the exact same thing. So don't go through highlighting right now the words that you're not sure about. We're all going to do it exactly the same. Okay. Argentina está ubicado. Es decir localizado en Sudamérica. Argentina limita con, o sea, tiene fronteras con Bolivia, Brasil, Chile, Paraguay y Uruguay. Hay cuatro regiones en el país. El norte, los Andes, las Pampas. Ok. Ayúdeme. Hay que borrar esa coma. No existe. Las Pampas en el noreste del país y en el sur, Patagonia. Esta vez, no lo toques. What? Don't touch him. Don't put yourself near his body. Is that better? No. Yes. Ok, voy a leer y cuando tú escuchas una palabra que no es familiar, levanta la mano. Ok, Argentina está ubicado 
ubicado. Ok, vamos a marcar con el highlighter, el resaltador. U, O y todo lo que hay adentro. I think it must be like the proper pronunciation of the blue and the top. Prácticamente. Ok, ahora. En, en la pluma o el lápiz, marquen el número uno. Y aquí en la caja, uno. Este es un diccionario visual. Es un diccionario de símbolos. Ubicado quiere decir located. El símbolo para representar located. ¿A ti? Located, pero con un símbolo. No. If you want to also write the word, you can, but I also want you to give it a symbol. Okay, I'm going to start the sentence over, do the same thing. Argentina está ubicado, es decir, decir, okay, bien. Yeah. Es decir, marque con el número dos. Es decir, no, es decir, means, that is to say. Now we're trying to make our writing sound more educated, more elevated, more sophisticated. So if we use a word like ubicado, which is a higher level word, and then we need to use a simplified synonym of it, we could say, está ubicado, es decir, localizado. It's a way of us being able to give a synonym. Instead of just saying like, AKA located. AKA does not sound very formal or sophisticated, but it means kind of the same thing as, that is to say. Okay. Yeah. Argentina está ubicado, es decir, localizado. En Sudamérica. Argentina, sí, Sudamérica. Perfecto. S, A, y todo lo que hay adentro. Sudamérica. No, El número es tres. El símbolo, um, that looks more like Africa. Yeah. Why does it not look like oh. one of those like little heart flowers? You know, like, you kind of look like South America. Mm -hmm. South America. Mm -hmm. Can I just draw like? Oh, that does not look like something. Mm -hmm. right. That looks like. Oh, um, that looks like the Squidward from. Um, okay. Like when they go and rescue the place. Argentina limita con, o sea, tiene fronteras. Oh. Mm -hmm. O. 
I know there are words in here. You gotta raise your hand when you don't recognize them. Fronteras. F, S, y el resto. Es el cuatro. Fronteras es borders. Borders. <coughs> a border, I'm going to put a fence. Is it good fence? I'm going to do like a so wire fence. Is it a barbed wire fence? No, a barbed wire fence. A other kind of wire fence. <laughs> what is uh, it? That's the Syria. What is that one? It, that is to say, hey, maybe it is a barbed wire fence. I don't know. Nobody's fence can be worse than mine. Thanks for making me feel better, Miranda. No, come here. Your fence looks better than mine. Okay, chicos. Continuamos. Tiene fronteras con Bolivia, Brasil, Chile, Paraguay y Uruguay. Hay cuatro regiones en el país. Anybody want país in our, in our dictionary? Yeah. Sí, marcamos país. P, S, y el resto. Es número cinco. Sí, muévete. Um, yo voy a poner... El mundo. África. Wait, is it? Is she just No, I don't think she's saying she is. I don't know. 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 It, no say. Wow. I mean, well, I didn't know it was a. I didn't know it was a religious. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you learned it in Sunday school. We don't have Sunday school. We have Wednesday school. <laughs> have, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I would just let show like our teachers. Our teachers are literally like. Uno silencio. Pais country. Pais country. El norte. Los Andes. Las Pampas en el noreste del país. Noreste. Noreste. En el norte. Wait, why do you highlight it like that? Is that supposed to like just to stop it or is that supposed to like... Sí, es para enfocarme. Oh, I thought it was like that's like the start of the word. Sí. I mean, technically it is our name. Yeah, but like it's the pronunciation. I don't know why. Northeast. Voy a poner... Oh, shit. Oh, I have I just want to do this. Are you ready? Oh, anything? Oh, no. Okay. Wait, which is so. Why does your essay look like you do that too? Yeah, we used to say so. Okay. East. El norte, los Andes, las Pampas en el noreste del país y en el sur. Sur, 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 um, you have homework Yeah, because the teacher. Yeah, she's special. 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 Yeah, she
maybe helping each other remember some of the words that you've already learned. For right now, I want you to close your notebooks, but don't put them away. Okay, classy. So, by the end of class today, we should be able to answer a few questions, say a few simple sentences about Argentina. We're going to look through the pictures that you've already kind of previewed and make concrete observations and make predictions. And then when we're done and we've written about it, we're going to take a little time to ask and answer questions face to face with just one partner, which will be prepped for an evaluation that we'll do eventually. It'll be it's pretty similar in style. So, class A. En inglés o en español, no importa. ¿Cuál es una observación concreta? Aquí, sí. Argentina, ¿qué es Argentina? ¿Qué color? En rojo, ok. Hay rojo en el mapa y es Argentina. Pues chicos, una inferencia. Hmm. Una inferencia, sí. Argentina tiene territorio en Antártida. Sí, muy bien. Otra observación. Es muy grande. Está cerca del océano. Pues, ok, chicos. Observación concreta. Tiene costa o está en el océano. Inferencia. Probablemente hay playas. Me encanta la playa. ¿A ustedes les gusta la playa? A mí también. Ok. Fotos. Fotos. Número dos. Fotos. Ok. Observación concreta. Ella. All girls are wearing red dresses. Ah, las chicas están en ropa roja. Ok. La observación... La observación concreta es que las chicas están en roja, en rojo. ¿Cuál es la predicción? Que es tradicional llevar rojo para bailar tango. Yo no sé bailar tango. Uy, no es muy oh. diferente de la salsa. Muy diferente. Ah, otra observación concreta. Bailan. Las personas bailan. En público. Uh, bailan en público. Ok. Una. ¿En cómo? En un gimnasio. Oh. ¿Esto parece gimnasio? ¿Es posible? ¿Una inferencia? ¿Qué baile probablemente es? Probablemente es el tango, sí. Pues, miren el hombre, no la mujer, el hombre. ¿Cómo es su ropa? Negro. En negro. Blanco. Negro y blanco. ¿Es ropa normal? No. Sí, es más formal, más elegante, ¿sí? Entonces, el hombre lleva ropa más elegante. Predicción. Uh, que es una competencia, es una posibilidad, 
Sí. Is tradition for them to wear it like the girls wear red dresses? Sí, que chicos en, en negro, chicas en roja, es tradicional. Y que es un poco más formal, ¿no? Es un poco más formal. Ok. Punto tres. Fútbol. Uh, Lili, ¿qué? Hay un pingüino. Ok. La observación concreta. Hay un pingüino. La predicción. Pingüino en Argentina. Que hay pingüinos en Argentina. Buena predicción. Otra observación concreta. Observación concreta. Okay. Maybe somebody I haven't heard from yet. Ok, pues es, es una observación concreta <coughs> o predicción. Which, which, is, which is the observation? Or, or which is that they eat meat? Concrete or observation? Or, dang it! Concrete or prediction? Concrete. Prediction. 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 Sí. La Prediction. Come mucha carne. Are you talking about the whole picture? Pues, all, all los símbolos individuales. Well, I had something for the whole picture. ¿Qué? The, the, that's like things they do in Argentina. Ah, I think they have. Que representan actividades y cosas populares en Argentina. Bien. Entonces, un balón de fútbol significa they play football. que juegan al fútbol, que el fútbol es un deporte popular. Colin. Uh, I see no por qué Probablemente toman vino. ¿Sí? El vino, el vino es una exportación importante para la economía. Wow, that was a big sentence. I'm going to say it again. I want you to see if you and your people around you can figure out what it means. El vino. Es una exportación importante para la economía. Tell somebody what it means. Tres, dos, uno, silencio. En inglés. Wine is an important ex exported good. Yeah. For the country. Muy bien. Ok. Observación concreta. Rápidamente. Ok, hay edificios. Uh, ¿Puedes describir los edificios? Altos. Sí, ok. <coughs> Observación concreta. Hay edificios altos. Predicción. Importante. They're important. Que son edificios importantes. Uh, son empresas. Ella. There's mountains. Ok. Observación montañas. concreta. Montañas. Hay montañas. Predicción. No. Predicción de hay montañas. Oh, Must be related to hay montañas. Una predicción que combina. Que posiblemente son los Andes. Predicción concreta. La costa. You have, you have to wait. You can't just raise your hand and but see. Hay playas. Predicción. Hay playas. 
que es una costa. Otra predicción, ella. ¿Qué es la costa? Pues, chicos, ¿qué costa? Pero, pero ¿cuál? Norte, sur, este, oeste. Oh. Norte, sur, este, oeste. Este. Probablemente el este. Ok. Observación concreta. Forces. Hay caballos. Donkeys. Repitan. Caballos. Caballos. Hay caballos. Now, we want a coordinating inference. Hay caballos. Y hay un hombre. Ok. Maybe let's put those two together. Hay caballos y un hombre. Inferencia. Cowboy. ¿Cómo se llaman los cowboys en Argentina? Gauchos. ¿Qué es un gaucho? Ok. He's an old gaucho. How about this? Hay un gaucho. Observación concreta. Predicción. ¿Dónde está? Uh, ¿Es posible que tiene un rancho? Clase, ¿en qué parte de Argentina viven la mayoría de los gauchos? En las pampas. Las pampas, sí. Las pampas están en el centro. Uh. Hmm. Interesante. Océano Pacífico, Mar Argentino, Clima Frío, Clima Árido, Clima Templado, Clima Cálido. Climate. Observación concreta. Es un mapa de Argentina. Otra observación concreta. Climate. Es un mapa de climas. ¿Ok? Observación concreta. Es un mapa de cuántas climas. ¿De cuántas climas? De cuatro, ¿sí? Chicos, todos juntos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Sí, el amarillo representa climas. No. ¿Qué representa amarillo? Sí, los otros países. Muy bien. Ok. Hay cuatro climas diferentes. Predicción. Es un mapa, muy bien. Un mapa con cuatro climas. You know, this inference might be a little bit harder. Turn to, and talk to the person next to you and see if you can come up with some sort of inference based on this. Tres, dos, uno, silencio. Okay, chicos. Predicción, inferencia. Olivia. The lower you get, the cooler it gets. Ooh. Más al sur, más frío. Más al norte, más calor. Bien. Otra inferencia. Clase. 
¿Cuántas regiones hay en Argentina? Cuatro regiones, ocho cuatro climas. Oh my god. Qué interesante. Posiblemente las climas hacen divisiones regionales. ¿Cómo? Que probablemente la agricultura es más al norte. Sí, en este clima, el clima templado y por aquí es la mayoría de la agricultura. Uno más, mi favorito. La carne. Comida. Hay comida. Ok. Nom noms. Comidas. Observación concreta. Predicción. No mía. Predicción. Que es muy delicioso. Ok. Observación concreta. Hay maíz. Uh. Concrete. Like, is a concrete observable, like, actual physical evidence? Concrete observation and then our prediction. So something that we can actually physically see and then something that we, we have to kind of guess at. Observación concreta. There's a lot of meat. Hay mucha carne. Predicción. Hay mucha carne. Probablemente. Probablemente comen carne. Now, okay, this seems like a really simple inference, but are there places where they do not eat beef? Yeah. Or places where they do not eat pork? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and even within the United States, I mean, the Amazon Amazon there, there are giant regions that are primarily vegetarian. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So sometimes it's religious, sometimes it's simply based on access. If you don't have places to raise beef, for health reasons. or for health reasons, you mm -hmm. might not have much easy access to beef. Like how many of you have half a cow in your freezer right now? Yeah, like half the class, right? Because we we have cows everywhere. <laughs> Can I go to the please? Now, super rapidly. Thank you. Control your blood. Okay. Yes. Colin. Colin dijo, hay maíz. Gross corn. Hay maíz. Is your corn? Um, predicción. Corn. They like corn. They season it. Les gusta el maíz? They do season it. They put seasoning on it. Chicos, pregunta. Esta es una... Estufa normal. Meat. Es una estufa. No es una well, estufa. Sausage. Sí, es una parrilla. <coughs> Repita, parrilla. 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 The, the word for the grill. <laughs> es para cocinar la carne. Oh, it's muy difficult. Okay, chicos, we're going to do a quick break, right? Um, we're going to keep it pretty low key today. So just going to have you go walk out, grab a drink of water. We'll come on back. First person back takes the password. You have to be very quiet because there's distance learning classes after this. Do it really? Yeah. yeah. Do it again. It's fine. Oops. What? Love new informs. Yeah, I was gonna ask if I could back, but then it's like Super not Thursday, but I'm walking.
Touch if you're not going to walk, you have to stretch. Stretch it out. Okay, I made it back. I the passwords. Good. Okay, classy. So, for our little review right now, I am just going to ask you a question. You're going to think about it. You're not going to shout it out right away because you're not going to say the answer until I go. Right? You're going to win. All right. Oh, I can't find it. Where's my, where's my sound machine? Somebody took it. That cannot be it. Use Chandler Bing noise. And he goes, boop, ah! That is not him. No, it's the gunshot gun. or the bomb. No, I don't want to touch it. Oh my god. It's very long. I like that one. Yeah, that one. What are we doing? Oh, wait, here we go. That'll be the one. That'll be the one. I, like I want the gunshot. I want the gunshot. No gunshot. Okay. Or maybe this one? No. Yeah. 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 Where did where did the cash money go? Cash money baby. Cash money. Okay, classic. You don't see the answers until I cash money. Cash money. Okay. Yes. Probablemente, ¿dónde están los gauchos en Argentina? Probablemente, ¿dónde están los gauchos en Argentina? Okay. No. Probablemente, <laughs> ¿dónde está la mayoría de las costas en Argentina? Al este, sureste. Probablemente, ¿Qué comen mucho en Argentina? Cash money. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Probablemente es más... ¿Es más formal o más informal el tango? Tango. Formal. Más formal. One more. ¿Dónde está Antártida? Sudamérica. Yay. Muy bien, chicos. Gunshot. Sudamérica. En Sudamérica. ¿Dónde está Antártida? Al sur. Ok. We're right. Oh, Antarctica. Oh, you're so good. Stop. Oh, my God. Is that last thing you 
Chicos, ¿qué es un buen título para hoy? Things from Argentina. Facts about Argentina. Why not, Kelly? Okay, chicos, let's do. Argentina and imagen. Yeah. Okay. How could you do that? She goes, we went through the start of this, yeah. Yeah, yeah we started that yeah. yesterday. Okay, Charles. What is the starter phrase that we want to open up this paragraph with? There are three things. There are three things. No. You need to know. High three. You. Do we need it? Maybe we should change. Well, so let's do three things. I like three things. There are three things about that, that you can infer Whoa, about some big words now. Argentina. Whoa. I this cosas. <laughs> Shut up. Big words are more than five letters. <laughs> Hay tres cosas que se pueden inferir sobre Argentina. Primero. Primero. Oh, yeah. Emily, you're so good. Thanks. I need to. She's really good. <laughs> um, My great grandfather's from the Philippines. Luke, out of all the things we talked about today, out of all the predictions that we made, what stuck with you the most? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What image do you remember best? Wow. Probably the coast. Ooh, something about the coast. Okay. So let's say maybe first, the photo of the coast is probably. Blurry. Where? In the last day. Okay. Photo. Photo. Oh my god, Riley. Oh my god, Riley would be freaking out. Going. Probable. Victoria. Es el este, es el país. Probably means that they love meat. They like carne and that meat. Meat. They like 
meat and corn. Okay. La foto de carne. Staff and students, the library is going to be, the high school library is going to be closed from this point forward today. Any students that have a college class in the library or a college class that doesn't meet today, please go to the elementary library instead. If you have any questions, please ask the high school office. Thank you. No, not even La foto de la carne, probablemente, significa... que se come mucha carne en Argentina. It's formal. Probably more formal and elegant. Okay. That <coughs> one. The tango demuestra, demonstrate, que probablemente es formal y elegante. I don't have time for the last sentence. All right, we're going to read it out loud together. Uno, dos, tres. Hay seis cosas que se pueden inferir. What is inferir? Infer. Infer. Sobre Argentina. Primero, la foto de la costa probablemente es del este del país. You're not packing up right now, we're reading together. <coughs> Segundo, la foto de carne probablemente significa, what is significa? Yeah. Significant. Significant signifies means. Que se come mucha carne en Argentina. Tercero, la foto del tango se muestra que probablemente es formal y elegante. ¿Cómo se demuestra? Demonstrate. Muy bien, chicos. Ok, go ahead and put your notebooks back.